Hello guys, in today's video I will tell you how to use your iOS device as a monitor of your Raspberry Pi. I will be using the Raspberry Pi 3 in this case but the process will be almost same for all the other models and the Raspbian OS I will be using but you can try it with the other OS like Noobs etc. So first of all you have to download two apps from the App Store. The first is VNC Viewer, this one and the second is VSSS Lite. This SSH Lite app will be used to build SSH connection between your iOS device and the Raspberry Pi. So first of all open your Safari browser. Type in the IP address of your router. For me it is 192.168.0.1. Your might be different find the corresponding IP address of your router that will be written in the back of the router itself. So open the settings. First of all log into your IP log into your router. Now here you have to find this LAN setup where you can find the all device connected to your network here you can see the all the devices connected to my network there are seven devices connected to my network at this point of time and this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that is 192.168.0.100 this is the IP address we have to note down because we will need it later on now open this SSH Lite app Create a new connection. Give a name to a connection. Let's give Pi. Host will be the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Just we saw that the IP address is 192.168.0.100. Port will be 22 by default. Username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. The username and the password are the default ones. If you haven't changed anything in the OS till now, this will be the IP this will be the username and the password you will use. So save these settings. Now you can see a new connection has been created. Click on it. It will ask for some security issue, so it is not harmful. So Continue it yes permanently. Now you can see that you are logged into your Raspberry Pi. It is always a good practice to update and upgrade your system as soon as you log in to your system after a boot up. But to save some time, I will not be doing that. I will just install the software that we will need. So type in sudo apt get install tight vnc server press return now it will install the required software that is the vnc server software in your pi it will take some two or three minutes of time depending upon your internet speed type yes and continue it will now download the software wait for it to be downloaded the software is installed now open your keyboard and type in and type in tight vnc server the just the software name and press return it will ask for some password for the first time i will give one two three four five six seven eight press return again type the same password to verify press no and enter now you have to note down this desktop number that is 1 in this case you can see the line written here new x desktop is raspberry pi colon 1 this one is this one is the desktop number we will need it later open vnc viewer app create a new connection 
address will be in the format of IP address colon desktop number. So the IP address of the Raspberry Pi is 192.168.0.100 colon the desktop number is 1 and type a name as you want. So I will give in Raspberry. Save it. Click on done. And you can see the Raspberry bookmark is created here. Tap on that. Click on connect. It will ask for the password that you have entered earlier. So for my case, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Click on done.